Hey folks, I am going to make a video today to show you how to set your Chromecast up without Wi-Fi. Um, I've always thought that uh, Chromecast should have the ability to do this. It took me a while to figure out how to do it. Um, and when I did, I realized it was pretty easy. So now I'm going to try to share this with you so you can do it yourself. All you need is uh, two cell phones and um, one of them has to have hotspot capability and um, preferably the one the cell phone that you're going to want to be using ordinarily with your Chromecast has to have hotspot capability that way you can um, use your Chromecast with that particular cell phone anywhere you go as long as you have a uh, TV with an HDMI input and uh, so that way you can be uh, like for example we have a boat and uh, I've got a monitor on the boat there's no Wi-Fi in a lake however I do have a cell phone with uh, a data package and as long as I have the hotspot capability on the cell phone I can uh, communicate with the Chromecast that's hooked up to the monitor only with a data connection and the hotspot capability. No Wi-Fi needed. So we're going to start with uh, a Chromecast. I actually just took this out of the box so it's brand new and you'll just have to take my word for this but I've unplugged my router and my modem from the wall so there's no Wi-Fi working in this house. You just have to trust me on that. All I have is this Chromecast which is brand new and two cell phones which I'll show you in a minute. So, first things first, let me go ahead and get this booted up. Off of the TV. So that's going to come up in just a second. Like I said, brand new Chromecast. While we're waiting for this, just remember um, two cell phones, one and two. Um, there's no working Wi-Fi in this house. First thing I'm going to do is going to take my, this is my everyday phone, and this is what I'm going to want to use going forward with my Chromecast that um, I want to be um, sort of like my, my portable Chromecast. The one I have in my living room at home stays on the TV. It's actually the TV you're looking at right now. It stays on there permanently. I have a travel Chromecast that I carry around with me everywhere I go. But the problem is when I want to use it, I have to, I have to actually be using it in a place with Wi-Fi and I have to know the passwords of the Wi-Fi and I have to, you know, it's, it's kind of a pain. I just want to be able to use the hotspot on my phone in order to do that and bypass the need to use somebody else's Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to use the Wi-Fi that's built into my phone with the hotspot capability. I'm turning on hotspot, as you can see. We'll wait for that to fire up. Okay, now that's on. Now, now that I have the, the hotspot on, there is Wi-Fi in this house now, and it's only through this phone. The phone is producing the Wi-Fi. So what I'm going to do now with my wife's phone is fire this up and then get her phone to connect to the Wi-Fi that my, that my cell phone is supplying. So I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi. And you should be able to see right there, it's connected to Motorola Nexus 6, which is my phone.
So, just to recap so far, there's no Wi-Fi in this house except for what is produced by my phone, my cell phone. I've got my wife's cell phone hooked up to my Wi-Fi hotspot. Now I'm going to use her cell phone to configure the brand new Chromecast I've just input into the TV. So we're going to find the Chromecast app. Devices. And right there you see Chromecast 4526 needs to be set up. So we're going to go ahead and go through the setup procedure. You can kind of see in the background the TV is going through its process. At this point, this probably looks familiar to you. This is just the or ordinary setup process for any Chromecast. I see the code, yes. Now, this is important. You have to enable guest mode, and I'll tell you why in a second. Guest mode is the key to this whole situation. Chromecast 4526, guest mode enabled, set name. I have to put in the Wi-Fi password, which I know by heart is the Wi-Fi password for the hotspot on my cell phone. Connecting your Chromecast to Motorola Nexus 6. And while we're waiting for that, I cannot stress enough, there is no Wi-Fi in this house except for what my phone is producing. Wi-Fi connected. You're ready to cast. Now, the Chromecast is all set up. At this point, this phone is useless to me. I, I mean, I can use it for uh, casting content to the TV, but I don't need it anymore. The only reason I needed this phone, the second phone, is simply to set up the Chromecast because you can't set up the Chromecast with the phone that is producing the hotspot. It's a one-time setup procedure. Now the, the Chromecast is permanently configured for the hotspot that my phone produces. So you never have to do that again unless for whatever reason the Chromecast gets reset. But, like I said, one time set up, and now it should permanently work with this phone, as long as you have the hotspot on. So, you can keep the hotspot on at all times, like whenever you fire the Chromecast up in another place, like in a hotel room or something of that nature. Just make sure you have your hotspot on your phone on first, because the uh, Chromecast is going to have to boot connected to the hotspot. Now, see, this, okay, so the one funny thing about this is that it says no Wi-Fi detected because there's actually no Wi-Fi that's being delivered to my cell phone from an external source. The only Wi-Fi, or the, the only Wi-Fi, like I said, is being produced by the hotspot, but it's, but the phone is getting its data through the cellular network. Um, you really the the only advice I can give you is that you just basically ignore the fact that it says no Wi-Fi detected But you can pretty much do anything else on the phone such as uh, casting screen So I'm going to show you that cast screen connecting and as you can see I can cast screen Remember, this is all enabled because I have selected guest mode. I have enabled guest mode in the Chrome in the initial Chromecast configuration. Now I can go and change that 
but of course I wouldn't want to simply be simply because if you disable guest mode then you're not going to be able to use the device that's supplying the hotspot for content delivery to your to your monitor but of course you can go and do um, if you go into like configuration Actually, I take that back. You can't do it from the device that's producing the hotspot. But just know that the guest mode is key to making this, this whole thing work. And of course, guest mode is the feature on Chromecast that's able, that uh, enables you to deliver content to the Chromecast with a device that's not hooked up to the same Wi-Fi that the Chromecast is hooked up to. Because my cell phone can't be hooked up to the hotspot it's producing. It's just something you have to understand. Um, one more demo here. We can go into YouTube. I'm going to take off the, sc the screen mirroring and just throw a YouTube video up onto the screen. Cast to Chromecast 4526. watching a YouTube video. So, to review, no Wi-Fi in this house. The only Wi-Fi is being produced by the hotspot on the cell phone. The hotspot being on and available for the Chromecast to connect to made, it, made me able to use the second cell phone to configure the Chromecast. Now I can permanently get rid of the second cell phone. The only thing I need from now on, if I go to anywhere in the world, as long as I have a TV, a Chromecast, and this cell phone with a hotspot, the only thing I need is data connection to this cell phone to make the Chromecast work. No Wi-Fi necessary. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.